Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, I will show you how you can start a food blog from scratch and I'll show you how you can make money from it. I will also show you how other people are making over half a million dollars every single year with a simple food blog and you can learn how you can replicate what they're doing and start printing money. So without further ado, let's get started. Before I show you how to start a food blog step by step, let me show you how other people are making money with a simple food blog. So this is the top 50 food blogs. And when you go through them, some of them are WordPress based and some of them are not. I've gone through a couple of them. And today I will show you this one, number nine. It's called Cookie and Kate. I tested and it is a WordPress blog. And let me just open it. And this is the this is the block. Okay, it looks very simple, right? It looks very simple and clean as well. Uh, let me show you how much money this simple food blog is making, and then I will show you how you can create the exact blog from scratch with absolutely no technical or coding skills. So, in order to find how much a website is making, uh, go to Google and type in worth a website. So the first result is worthaweb.com. Click on that. And now we're going to analyze our website, this website, which is called cookieandk.com. So paste the URL, analyze, and scroll down a little bit. You can see this report. The report below is up to date. And this website is worth over $3 million. Um, also, it is making, so when it says estimated revenue per day, even if it's not making $1,500 per day, this website has the potential to make this much money. And I'll, at the end of this video, I'll show you how you can analyze this as well. So uh, it is making $1,500 per day, 40, more than $47,000 a month, and over $500,000 every single year. Okay, this is a lot of money. And this is the website, and I'm about to show you how you can create this website from scratch and I don't expect you to know anything about programming and coding, or I don't expect you to be a ticky. Um, yeah, that's it. So without further ado, let's get started and create our first food block. If you're wondering how she's making this much money and what sort of pages of this website is getting ranked and getting the most views, at the end of this video, I'll show you the tools that you can use to analyze this website and see what sort of pages are getting ranked on Google and generating the most views and you can check out them and start making your own version of the blog post and actually getting a lot of traffic to your website. The first thing that you need to create your food blog is a domain name and a web hosting. The domain name is the name of the website and in this case Cookie and Kate is the domain name of this website. In order to get a web hosting and a free domain name for your website, I'll leave a link in the description below and that would get you to Bluehost. Bluehost is recommended by WordPress official website. And once you get it through the affiliate link below, you get a free domain name for the first year. You also get a free SSL certificate and one click WordPress installation. So in order to get your domain name and web hosting, go ahead and click on this get started button. Now select the plan that you want. If you just starting out, you want to have only one website, you probably want to go with this one. But if you're going to have multiple websites, you probably want to go with this uh, $5.95 a month package. But for now, I just select this one. Here you can select the domain name of your website. I'm just going to go ahead and type in Cookie and Manny. And this is going to be the domain name of my website. And you see the extensions that we got .com, online, .site, .org. If the .com domain name is available, try to go with that one. And uh, if you're not sure what will be the domain name of your website, you can just click on this. I will create my domain name later. You're still going to get the domain name for free for the first year. So after you uh, decided on the name of your website, click on this blue button set next. So the domain name is available, which is great. If your domain name is not available, you can just make it, just change it a little bit, put day, a, or my, or things like that. So you can make it available. Um, now scroll down a little bit and put in the account information. 
pretty self-explanatory, nothing really special. Scroll down a little bit. Uh, the package information, select the package that you want. If you go with 36 month, it will be cheaper if you go with 12 month. But if you're not sure which package you want to go, you can start with 12 month and then extend it. And scroll down a little bit, uncheck this one, uncheck this one, you don't need these two. You can keep the domain privacy and put in the account information and click on this terms and conditions, accept the terms and conditions. Now let me show you how you can get it a little bit even cheaper. In order to get the domain name even cheaper, try to um, close this page. I mean, click on this, don't click on it, like hover over this, like you want to close the page, but don't close the page, okay? And once you do this, this page pops up and it offers a special price. Now click on this green button that say claim savings. And when you go to the package information, you can see the prices are dropped now, okay? So from 395 to 265, okay? So this is how you can get the uh, domain name and web hosting cheaper through Bluehost. And yeah, go ahead and click on terms and conditions, accept the terms and condition, and click on this green button that says submit. And once you click on submit, you will get this page that says welcome to Bluehost, congratulations. You also receive an email. You need to verify that email and then come back here and click on uh, create your password to create a new password. And then you will get to this page, put in your new password, accept the terms of service and click next. And then click on login. But clicking login, Bluehost basically automatically installs WordPress for you, which makes the whole process even easier. And then you will land on this page where you can choose the theme or the look of your website. Uh, for now, we're not going to choose any theme for our website because we're going to set it up later on. And so you need to scroll down or bottom, it says skip this page and skip this page. And also skip the next couple of pages. And then you get to this page, it says all done, which means your web hosting is all set up, your WordPress is all set up, and now you can start building. So click on this start building then you land on this wordpress dashboard this is the page that you will see every time you log into your wordpress account so if you're wondering what will be the url address for this page simply come here and type in login and that will get you to this wordpress dashboard the username and password will also be the same username and password that you used when you were creating your account so let's see how our website actually looks. So if you go to your URL, you can see your website should look something like this. This is the default look of a WordPress site. So now we want to change the look of this website to look something like this. So we need to install a theme for it. The theme that she's using is called Magazine Pro. In order to install the theme, go back to your dashboard, if you would like to use the same theme, uh, you need to install two files. The first one is called the Genesis Framework, and the second one is the Magazine Pro. Magazine Pro is not a free theme, but you can create your WordPress site using free themes as well. But if you want to use this exact theme, I'll leave a link in the description below for both of these files. And once you download it, go to hover over the appearance and click on themes. Now click on add new and upload theme. Now you need to drag the Genesis framework that you just downloaded and drop it here. Click on install now and activate. So you can see the Genesis framework is now installed and activated on our website. We need to install the Magazine Pro now. So let's go back to the theme again and be already in themes and click on add new, upload theme. And now you need to drag and drop the Magazine Pro file that you downloaded and drop it here. Click on install now again and activate. So this is what you will see in the Magazine Pro. 
these are all the child themes that you have for Magazine Pro. Um, if you want to access this page, you can simply go to the Genesis and then click on Child Theme Setup. And once you're here, we have four options. And for our food blog, we're going to go ahead and click on this Cuisine and install, install the package. Our child theme is installed now. The plugin is installed. The demo content installed is all done. Now let's go back to our website, refresh the page, and see how it looks now. Boom. This is our website. Without writing a single line of code, we got a proper website up and running. As you can see, this is our website. Let's go back to the cookie and Kate, and you can see it looks pretty similar. You don't need to make it look exactly like that one, okay? You can also lose, use any theme that you like. You don't necessarily need to use this one, but this one is pretty good, pretty fast. And yeah, she's getting ranked for a lot of keywords using the same theme, and I think you can do it as well. If you like this video so far, I appreciate it if you click the like button because it can help YouTube algorithm to show this video to more people who want to start their food blog. Let's go ahead and customize our website. The first thing I'm going to change is the name of this website and the uh, icon. So go ahead and click on this customize button. And here, click on site identity. Now you can see the site title is users blog. I'm going to change it to cookie and Manny. As you can see, the change here and the tagline, same thing for the tagline and the icon for the icons i'm using um, canva to create it and i've created this one very simple i just selected this one and just changed change the text to cookie and manny you can change it to whatever you want uh, i don't know maybe sarah's kitchen or cookie and sarah whatever you want to call it and uh, let me just go ahead and download it jp format uh, click on site select the site icon now drag and drop the file that we just downloaded. Okay, select it and make sure to have the alt alt attribute here as well. It's called alt text, so make sure it's not blank. I'm just gonna use the same thing. Um, cookie and Manny, select it, and let's go and publish this changes. So you can see up here. The icon is added to the website. It, like I don't think this is the best icon. Try to make it a little bit more clear. Use um, other 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 colors so it stands out. So that's it for the website name and icon. If you would like to use logo instead of this text up here, you can simply go to the logo. It says logo. Select logo, and this is my logo. Gonna select it. Okay. Okay, and just crop image. And you can see that text is gone and is replaced by this logo. Now you may be wondering how to get rid of this text, this actually image that says at. So in order to get rid of this, click here and go back to the widgets. Click on site right. Then click here, scroll down, and remove. So you can see that add text is gone. Click on publish. Now let's go ahead and add menu to our website. So you can see this this website has five items in the top menu. We want to customize a little bit and look slightly more like this one. Okay, for example, add salad, soup, dinner, and things like that. So let's go back and click on menu. And you can see we already have one. We don't want to remove it because it's fine. You just want to get rid of a couple of items. So we probably need the home about us and contact us. I'm going to go ahead and delete these two items. So I remove this one. Also let me block example. These two items are gone. Okay. Now let me make it change to look slightly like this one so if you scroll down a little bit you can see you got two options so you can put the menu before header before header menu and after header menu you should get rid of this one and put it here after menu 
after the header menu. So you can see it looks looks nicer now. Now let's add more menu items to our website. In order to add new items, simply click on this add items. And once you click on that, you can see we have a couple options. We got custom links, pages, posts, and categories. And I think these three are the main one that we're going to use. Also tags. Um, let me show you the difference between posts and, and pages. And then I'll show you how you can add items to your, to your menu. Let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. And here from the left menu, you can see we have a couple of options. We got post, we got pages, and in the post section, we have categories as well. So the posts and pages are pretty much the same thing, but the main difference between these two is pages are mostly static content, meaning they don't change that much, like about us, contact us, and things like that. But posts are content that can actually change constantly. As you remember, we removed two items from our top menu. So this is our menu, it has only three items right now, and we actually removed the landing page and the block content example. But as you can see, these are still available in the options because these are pages. We just removed the menu items, but we didn't remove the page related to these menu items. Now, if you go back to the pages, you can see that we have block content example and the landing page. So we still have these two pages. We can go select them and move to trash, apply, and just get rid of them because we don't need them anymore. Now, if we go back to our menu, let's say we would like to add more items and from the category section, okay? Let's say we want to create a category for salad or create a category for soup, and we want to add them here. So what we need to do is to go back to the post and click on categories and add a new category. Let's say we want to add, we want to call it salad, okay? And you can see by default we have only one category, and that is uncategorized. But we want to add more category to our website, so we have salad and the slug is the actual URL, meaning after your uh, domain name, you will have slash salad or soup or dinner and things like that. And you can change it if you want, but it's better to have pretty much the same name. Add a new category. And as you can see, there's one more category added. I also would like to add um, soup. And let's see here, add one more. So we have two more categories. Now let's go back to our uh, menu and refresh the page one more time and go back to the menus this one and add a new item and let's go to the categories and you can see those two categories are added here now you can select this one and the salad is added you can also move it from the bottom to here. So you can see cell goes from here to here as well. Click on publish. And all, and all of our changes is now live. Now, if you click on salad, you can see there's nothing. There's no, because we don't have any post related to salad. So what we need to do is to go back to our dashboard, our over posts, and add a new post. Okay, let me show you the posts that are available on our website. So you can see we have so many posts, right? You get all these posts by default one by installing this theme, okay? You can just select them all and just move them to trash, okay? Because we don't need them, okay? But for now, we just wanna add one more post, okay? Add a new, and this is the, I'm mean, the title and a description. I'm going to call it, um, Italian salad and then add my recipe to it. So here I'm going to add my recipe and this is how you create the salad. All right. Now, if you would like to add images of your salad as well, what you need to do, click on this plus button and then type in image. You can see we have so many options. You can click on image and then in order to, to add more image, what you need to do, you can go, if you already have an image, it's perfect. If you don't have an image, you can go to websites like Pexels or Unsplash and download an image 
for your post. I already downloaded one, one image and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag it and drop it here. Okay. This is how it looks. Line it to the middle. Align center. Okay. It looks nice. And you can just, you can also move it up as well. So you can go on above the ingredients. And yeah, this is how our actual posts look. So what you need to do, just publish it. Click on publish. There is also one more thing we need to add is to change it from, so go to the post here and then scroll down on categories, uncheck on categorize and set it as salad. Update it. And now if you go back to our menu one more time and refresh this, click on salad. As you can see, we have a post for salad. And this is how you create um, categories for different posts. By clicking the home page, you can see the post is actually added to your home page as well. But this post doesn't have an image, okay, or featured image. In order to add featured image, you can go back to the post and from this section, select featured image and set featured image. I'm going to use the same image for the featured image as well and select set featured image as well here update the post and let's go back refresh and the featured image is added here to the home page as well if you would like to customize the home page what you need to do is to go back to your dashboard and click on pages and once you're on pages, you see we have about us, contact us, that we're going to change it later on. And the home page, privacy policy, and the sample page. We can get rid of that. Click on this red trash button and just get rid of the sample page. We don't need it. And go to the home page. You can see the home page has multiple sections. Okay. If you want to get rid of any part, simply just select, select on the grid. And then click on these three dots and remove the block if you want. Okay. If you want to change the look of it, you can select um, list view instead of grid view. And you can see that actual view changes. Also, if you'd like to change the label, click on the grid. And then from the right side, click on post and grid content. And you can change the title from here as well. For example, say featured your food maybe right um or here you can continue reading you can change it to continue reading dot 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 maybe right you can see it is changing here as well if you want to remove any part simply click on it and remove the block and it's gone after you made the changes click on update and all your changes will be updated so in order to see where the traffic for this website is coming from Go to this website called Uber Suggest, which is a free tool, and type in the URL here. Click on search. So you can see this website is getting over 14 million monthly visits. So I think this website has the potential to make, to make way more than $1,500. And once you scroll down, you can see the top posts from this page, okay? Perfect roasted Brussels sprout recipe and how to cook spaghetti squash. So once you click on the page, so this post alone is sending over 200,000 monthly visitors to this website. Okay. So what you need to do is to go through this post. Okay. And see what she's doing. And now that you know how to create your own content, create your own content, add your own images, and try to make it slightly better than this one, okay? And then you can even outrank her and, and get even more traffic to your website. Now, let me show you what sort of keywords she's getting ranked for on Google. So go to the section that says keyword by traffic. And you can see that she's getting ranked for a lot of keywords.
right? She's sitting at some positions at two, four, three. Um, and some of these keywords are getting searched more than 500,000 times a month, okay? Like this one, ratatouille or banana bread. Let me just check out this one, banana bread. So once you go to Google, let me go back to Google and search for banana bread, okay? And you can see when you, once you scroll down, you can see that Cookie and Kate is sitting at position six, right? Let me just double check it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Currently, yeah, she's at position six. And this keyword is getting searched more than 500,000 times. Okay. So this is how you can find what sort of keywords she's getting ranked for. So also, if you want to rank on Google, there is one more plugin that you need to install for your WordPress site. Let's go back and install the plugin. So go to the dashboard and go to the plugin section, add new, and then type in Yoast. Yoast is probably the best SEO plugin that you can install for your WordPress site. Click on install now and activate. You can see the Yoast plugin is now installed and activated on our website. So if we go back to our uh, post one more time you can see once you refresh it you can see this icon is added okay this is a Yoast SEO icon is added and you also have this one which tells you how good is your content and how is it how good it is for the SEO okay so you can see it is not really good for the readability is not that great and the SEO is not that great because we don't have that much content here we just need to go through it and optimize it to make it Look, to make it green, okay? So you can see we have the focus keywords. And here, I think we're trying to focus on Italian salad. This is the keyword that we're trying to rank for. You can put your focus keyword here and the readability. It tells you what is missing and how you can improve your content to be SEO optimized. Configuring the US SEO plugin would be a, another video. And I'm not going to waste time on that, but I think so far this is what you need to start your food blog. And if you would like to make more changes to your website, simply click on customize and go through all these options here. You can go through the colors, menu, widgets, and just go through them, make your own changes, and you can learn a lot at your own time. Also, if you would like to use the same theme, uh, make sure to go through all those posts and pages and just get rid of the one that you don't need because uh, you, Google doesn't really like the duplicate content. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. And this is how you start your food blog and how you can make money from it. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to like it. And also, if you would like to learn how to create a professional business email using the current web hosting that we just created, uh, make sure to check out the next video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, let's make sure to subscribe and tap that little bell so you'll be notified of the next video that's released when I release it. See you next one.